Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Can You Do It? Can you do that in video games? Is it even possible? Now you all know I'm a big fan of Nintendogs, the dog raising simulator for Nintendo DS. I have a whole other channel dedicated to it. But in the comments of one of my championship trial guides, a viewer posed the question, is it possible to beat Nintendogs without dying? Well, today we're going to find out. First off, deciding which version of Nintendogs we're going to play. You may not think this choice is important, but it most certainly is. For example, if you go with one of the 3DS ones, you'll probably die of stress over trying to tell which are the Nintendo dogs and which are the Nintendo cats. If you go with Dalmatian and friends, you'll undoubtedly be pushed off a cliff. So now that we've selected our game, it's time to take on the challenge. We start up the game and knock on the Nintendo door. First, we have to choose a dog to adopt. Okay, oh god, get out of there! Okay. Oh, that was close. So we want to choose a dog that is least likely to end our run. So, uh, not this one. She looks very aggressive, very scary. Uh, this one is always friendly towards people, so we'll go with her. Dog food. Next up is naming the dog. Dog food. It might be a bit difficult if you're using an emulator like I am. Dog food. This is our first big obstacle because it might make you want to die, but you gotta push through with sheer willpower. Dog food! Fuck you! Here's a helpful tip for your playthrough. If you just select the Nintendo ball and then throw it. No, quick, go out! No, now's your chance! Get out of there while it's distracted! Oh, I forgot you have to take the dog with your fuck. We're on the walk now, and oh, dog food seems to have found something. What is- Oh god, alright, okay, so you'll run into these on occasion during walks and you won't know what's inside until you open it. So, oh, I'm gonna open it. Oh, thank god, oh, it could have been an intent bomb, you really gotta be careful. Don't worry about your dog, it doesn't matter if they die, you just need to survive. And now it's contest time, there's not much danger here as you transform into an airborne deity who commands your dog from above. So you're safe from all the scary obstacles. What's your impression of dog food, Archie? What the fuck? Doggy got dirty, gotta keep it clean, but don't slip on the suds and crack open the skull. Someone looks beautiful. <gasps> oh, the the dog fan. Yeah, the game will trick you like that. You're fine. Oh no shit! Oh, quick, quick, we gotta pick up. Oh fuck, fuck. Oh jeez. Nintendo cops will shoot you on sight. Make sure to talk to Alan. He's a nice guy. I heard Archie nibbles on dog treats. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> okay, I've gone and skipped ahead a little because there wasn't much more to note that's important for the playthrough. I've been playing for uh, just over two years now. I haven't beaten the game yet. Upgraded my home though. Got another couple of dogs. Have just run into quite a big hurdle though. I've just gotten back from the Nintendo doctor's office and he has actually given me three or four weeks to live. So that's that's gonna make completing Nintendogs without dying a bit more difficult. But I think I can confidently say that if I, do, when I do die, that will be the reason. So that's something you can focus on avoiding in your playthrough. Just get a drink real quick. Ah. Anyway, I'm gonna take Pupson for a walk because he's got quite a lot of stamina. So there's a good chance. He oh, 